yeah. to uh, sway a little bit from announcements, and I'd like to back up what was said by the woman from the school. I went down to see the superintendent the next day also, Rusty did too, to apologize for the behavior of a chairman to a, a, to a valid, valued employee. It was not only sexist, it was misogynist, and it was outright disrespectful. Dis 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 it was terrible. It never should have taken place. This is 2019. It is not 1950. If the town manager had said that, if the police chief or the deputy had said something like that to a female, they'd be gone. It was outrageous behavior. All right. Rick? No, but I agree with that. Thank you. Mary Louise? No, thank you. I'm, I'm all set. Regina? Yes, it was outrageous behavior. There's a lot of that around here lately. <laughs> um, I like to say something about the upstairs to reflect what Michelle Zeno just said. Very positive meeting. I had to leave a little bit early because I had to come down here. But I think that uh, I received a list of activities that the Navy crew is looking to do. And I know Renee has some ideas with Parks and Recs, and I hope that uh, maybe the rest of the town could put some things together. These guys are definitely willing to help us, and hopefully we can help them back. They spent their uh, a long time on the ship, so I hope that uh, the voters also see that the warrant article we have to appropriate some funds to make it a little easier for everyone gets passed this year. Okay, thank you. That's all I have to say for community events. I have a couple of things. Filing opens on January 24th, closes on February 1st for positions within the town. I know we have two budget committee members. We have a board of selectmen member. I believe there's a couple of school board members, and I'm sure there's other others that are out there. But if you're interested and we are looking for people, sign up. Those are the times. So between January 24th and February 1st. Remind everybody that the deliberative session is February 2nd. Voting will be the second Tuesday in March. Uh, okay, Rick. Yeah. I just wanted to say, um, because I've heard a few things lately um, about uh, people have brought it to my attention. Um, I think it's important to remember that these town um, positions that are up for election are non political. Absolutely. You do not have to be Republican, you do not right. have to be Democrat. And there's, uh, and <clears throat> if you feel that you are one, just that you're only going to answer to one, you shouldn't be there because you should be working for the whole town. Absolutely. And whether you're a Republican, Democrat, or Independent. And I think it's, uh, uh, several people have brought it to my attention, and we need to keep that in mind. It's always non political. Mary Louise? You just need to have a thick skin. <laughs> yeah. Gonna, I mean, it's um, different if it's the. Uh, state reps or whatever that's right. a different ball game altogether yeah. just real, real quickly though uh, representative Cushing bless his heart uh, who keeps us up to date uh, is working with his uh, fellow representatives on ha House Bill 352 uh, to restore state aid grants program for sewer projects maybe we can get a little money out of Concord it's a hope I have one other thing I, I, I heard at one of the the budget committee meetings with uh, one of the members there spouting off that, you know, our taxes are going to be $10,000 next year. Well, I asked our assessing office, the, media, the average tax bill in Hampton this year is about $6,500. The average single family house is about $7,000. That's on a value of $412,000. Uh, so I don't know where they got that it's ten thousand dollars, but I, I felt that that was uh, 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 trying to scare people. I think if you check your taxes in this town and you compare them with any town around us, you will see by far that you get more tax dollars or more for your tax dollar than you will in any community. And I will challenge that to anybody, to any town that's around us. Hampton has one of the best tax rates for what we get for services in this town, be it our schools, be it our public works, be it our police department, our fire department, our rec department, whatever it is. So the fear-mongering has to stop. So thank you. <laughs>